DYG Sports locked out here in the cloudy Culver City studios. I am Rick Strom. Now, a lot of you guys are unsure why exactly we call it locked out. Well, it's because I am locked out of the studio. Not literally, there's not a chain on the door. It's just that the studio is taken, thus I am forced out here. Now, Cess Fabregas, let's get down to that, the reason you clicked on this video. There, is, there, there, there are rumors going around that Barcelona is going to let go of the 26-year-old midfielder and go back to Arsenal, where he was with the club from 2003 to 2011. Of course, then in 2011, he went home to Spain and played for Barcelona. He used to captain Arsenal, a fantastic midfi midfielder who is obviously in his prime. Now, he has been not necessarily at odds. That's the wrong way to put it. The fact is, let's just be truthful about it here on this air, uh, on these airwaves. He's been left off uh, the roster many times. He's been on the bench, but he's been left on, out of the starting 11 by Tito Villanova. Is it the right move? Is it the wrong move? Look, Villanova knows more than us, and he thinks that it's the right move, obviously. Now, he started out again with Arsenal, 212 appearances, 35 goals. This according to the Daily Mail. A deal to re-sign Fabregas will be relatively straightforward to conclude. As part of the deal that took Fabregas back to Spain, Arsenal secured a 25 million pound first option clause as part of the transfer should Barca decide to sell Fabregas. The Gunners would have first refusal on the midfielder at a fixed price of 25 million pounds. There have also been rumors coming out of the Emirates that they want to sign that one striker, that one solid forward that could possibly score more goals in Gonzalo Higuain. Of course, he is with Real Madrid. The Real Madrid president had this to say as of today. There isn't anything signed yet, but the negotiations are very advanced. We haven't spoken about the contract yet. Arsenal has made a great offer, offer, as have Juventus. So it's simply put, we have no word yet on Arsenal making a huge move to sign Higuain to play striker for them. Now, I asked you guys to chime in on the Twitter whether you think it is a good move for Cesc Fabregas to go back to Arsenal. Here are your tweets. Juan Pacheco tweets at Brickstrom. As far as Cesc goes, he should stay at Barca. Better chance of winning trophies in Spain. But of course, winning isn't everything. Josh Mantle on the mantle. Tweet at Brickstrom. Arsenal have been linked to Cesar, Juan Yama, Fellaini, Grenier, Fabregas, Jovetic, Higuain, Suarez, and Rooney. Not buying it. So now I turn to you guys. Is it a good move or a bad move for Arsenal as an organization and Cesc Fabregas as a player to team up once again and try to provide magic? Better put, is it good that Arsene Wenger is trying to go after their former prodigy, their, their, their former prideful midfielder, and get him back at the Emirates? In my opinion, it's a good move for any of these top-notch players that go to Arsenal because they simply haven't produced that much. A lot of people like to hate on them. I respect them. But the, let's just be, again, let's just be truthful. They have not had promising seasons in the Champions League. They need to make more of a push to try and get to the final. Cesc Fabregas will certainly put them in a better position to do so. So what do you think? Leave a thought in the comments section below. Give us a thumbs up. That'd be cool. Share with your friends. And most importantly, subscribe to TYD Sports.